This video is brought to you by the supporters on Patreon. Hey guys, I'm here with another Witch Mercy video. We're almost there guys, almost there. There's like one or two left. Anyways, in this video, I'm working on her shoes. So what I'm doing here is creating the belt buckle using foam pieces. For the lightning piece, I created kind of a bevel where it's going to connect to the little square piece in order to have it sit at an angle. All of these patterns are available on my store Envy, and to create the patterns, I just looked at a reference photo, except for when it came to the shoes. For the shoes, I wore the shoes I planned to wear with this costume, wrapped that in newspaper, and then wrapped that in duct tape in order to create a duct tape pattern. So once I have the duct tape fully on, I take a sharpie or any sort of marker will do and draw on all of the seam lines I think I'll need, any shape that I need, such as like at the top, the weird like spiky shape she has going on, and then the belt as well that she has across her foot. And then I cut myself out of it and start sewing it. First I sew the belt not together but i sew this yellow lining onto the belts because it does have a yellow trim and this is just bias tape that i'm using after that i sew the top of the shoes together with the right sides facing inwards open that up pin the belts into place and then close that back up and add the sole of the shoe. So don't sew the bottom of the shoe together because you need that sole there or else it's not gonna fit right. So then I sew the sole of the shoe, but I wanted to pin the belts in place first so that I could just you know sew it all at once rather than sew the belts down and then sew the sole on afterwards since it's going to overlap anyways, if that makes any sense what I just said. This is a better look at what I was just talking about where the soles attached and then I go ahead and sew that and then I sew the back heel part of the shoe closed. This is a little piece that goes on the back heel. It was made out of foam, shaped with a heat gun, and here I'm just painting it with acrylic paint. And I paint all of the foam pieces at this point so that they're painted and ready to go and ready to be attached to the shoes. This isn't the best method, but it's what I had. I took some yellow craft foam and then glued that onto the bottom of the shoe in order to create the, the yellow sole that she has that kind of pops up or the gold sole or whatever. And I just, I picked yellow so that I didn't have to worry about painting it because it usually chips off anyways if you walk on it. And then I just kind of freehanded some spikes to attach to the front. I think I did three for each shoe, each shoe. After that, I started to glue on all of the foam pieces, such as the little silver piece at the end of the belt, attached the belt buckles, attached the armor pieces that are at the back of her heel, like this silver piece and the brown piece that I had shown earlier, like the brown little spiky lightning piece. By the way, I'm attaching everything with either contact cement or super glue, depending on what I think will work best. No real wrong or right answer. I found super glue works probably better for the, the shoe piece than the contact cement did. I ended up having to touch 
contact cement pieces up later, but you know, maybe I just did something wrong, so who knows. Also, the thin pieces are made from like two millimeter craft foam, and the thicker pieces that I used are made from about four millimeter craft foam. To attach the belt buckle, I glued a little foam bar in the center and then looped the belt around that and sewed it into place. I used just hand stitching for this piece. One of the last pieces I needed to attach to the shoe was the tongue of the shoe and because I wanted it to stand up and kind of keep its shape better than it would otherwise, I used foam to make the tongue of the shoe and then just glued that onto the back of the belt buckle. So when it came to our socks, I kind of just created tubes that fit my legs. I, they're feetless socks or stockings or whatever you want to call them. And here in this clip, I'm just finishing sewing them together, sewing up the hems so that they're nice and looking from the outside and folded in on the inside, you know, the usual stuff. And then I'm taking super glue to attach all of the button pieces that we made in an earlier video, or I made in an earlier video. I don't know why I keep saying we, but you know, if you're following along, then it's a we. Anyways, um, yeah. I'm just gluing on the pieces onto the stockings and I'm kind of just winging it. I'm not being super precise or exact. I'm kind of placing it where I think it will look best and where it's spaced apart evenly enough. And that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, found it helpful. Thanks for watching and have a lovely day. Also stay tuned for future videos. We're going to finally start moving on to some other costumes, I promise. Bye!